Hey gang, today we are taking a look at the Sinvertech MG81 preamp. Yes, the MGAT-1 is a preamp. Uh, it's also a pedal, obviously, but it was designed as a preamp first. Each one of these little bad boys is hand-wired by Mr. Wu. Um, Mr. Wu reached out to me. I've done some Sinvertech videos in the past, and I, I just love the interactions that I have with him because he's so passionate about amp tone and, and pedals. and. Each one of these little bad boys is hand-wired by Mr. Wu himself, uh, who is Mr. Wu. He is the man behind Sinvertech, uh, this sort of creative pedal genius that in my mind, like if you want to talk to Mr. Wu, you got to climb like the edge of this almost impossible to climb hill and then travel through the plains, then say the magic word at the door and then you will come across this mystical man uh, covered in components, but I've mostly done email. Anyway, what we're looking at is a preamp in a pedal that is designed to bring you all of the original OG Marshall flavors. Don't be scared off by the numerous switches because really once you set them, you just don't even need to touch them anymore. There's one switch that is essentially the channel selector switch. That one you'll go to to switch between the three channels in there. Uh, everything else is sort of um, a broad picture of how do you use this pedal. Let's kick it off running guitar into the DAW, nothing else, just preamp into DAW. And then once we're inside the DAW, I'm going to apply my own IRs. It sounds great this way and it allows you to hear some of the fine adjustments a little more than when it's running out through a cab or something like that. I'm gonna work a little backwards here. I'm gonna start off with the setting I had on the intro tune and um, show you some of the critical knob settings and uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> That's a great sound to me. Anyway, you slice it. Okay, working through here. Gain, volume, presence, treble, middle, bass. Easy peasy, right? I'm going straight into my, uh, an RME interface. If I take off the IR, it sounds like this. Put the IR back on. Um, okay, so the gain, There's a ton of gain. It, it it overloads if you want. It's great. So, you know, it was flubby. I could have trimmed the bass back, but we're not there yet. Number one is the high end. That's right at the top. In the down position, that is going to give you the most martially top end. It's got a little of that glassy slice to it. Now, if you go up to modern, that's going to put it more in the territory of the of the other N5 pedals. See, 
See how it got more throaty and vocally? <laughs> Warmer, throaty, more like more Mesa, more Saldano sort of top end. As opposed to the brown. That just puts it all in perspective for the top end. From there, we've got this other switch. This is kind of the setup, like, how are you running it? In most settings, just leave it in the middle. There you go, it's really good. There's two other sort of um, settings depending on if you're going through a bright power amp or a dark power amp. I'll just show you a little bit of that so you could get a feel, but most of the time you're gonna see it in the center. See how the middle just, it all comes forward. It's the most present, the most full uh, without getting overly harsh. But if you're in a situation where you just can't get it sounding right, there's a little extra like it'll set back and, and relax a little bit um, and try and compensate for a, a power amp section that's a little like uh, harsh. This switch right here is the all important channel switch. You just flip to the right or the left, goes in either direction goes through your like JTM 45, Plexi, JCM 800, and then like sort of a modded JCM 800. Here's our little Plexi zone. And you know, as you lower the gain, the bottom end's gonna be bigger and fuller. As you get higher gain, it gets tighter, so you gotta compensate with the EQ controls. All of the other switches are sort of a, um, almost like a resonance what resonance your high-end EQ will have, the mid-range EQ, the bass EQ. If you just leave them all in the middle, you've got a great sounding thing. If It's it's fairly subtle. In some situations, you won't even hear the difference. Let me run you through a couple. Like, did it change your world? No, not at all. It's, you just leave it in the middle, you're cool. Here's a sample JTM 45 setting. So we've got the low end. This is a low end contour where it's at its uh, loosest. I could tighten, see how it was a little flubby? I could go down to the medium, medium tightness. And then I could push the bottom end a smidge, a little more mids, presence, treble is there. And it's, uh, you know. and we can go all the way tight in that bottom. Going to the second channel where you've got that sort of JCM 800 vibes happening.
That's all the gain we get in the yellow channel. Now the feel of that gain is going to change if you're running into a power amp and you're driving the power amp hard, you're going to get a little extra sag, uh, compression, and it's going to feel like more gain. We're running it at its most nude, just directly into the interface uh, with an IR afterwards. So it's not getting any help from any extra power amp simulations. Um, but it has that JCM 800 vibe, that kind of feeling of like, oh, I wish I just had a little more gain. <laughs> And then we go back to that red channel, which has oodles and oodles of gain. You know, it got crunchy, so let's goose that bottom there with the, the bottom end. Going a little nuts, so back to presence off a smidge, a little more mids. And remember that top end switch going back to the modern? I mean, to go if you want that ultra chug but if you want that sort of mid-range richness that brown marshally thing up to the full modern uh this is working great let's plug it in a couple different ways and i'll show you what that sounds like now i'm plugged into the effects return of the rev d20 effectively using it as a power amp because the mget is a preamp preamp to the power amp and um then it's going straight into the built-in virtual cabinet on the rev 20. <laughs> Let's turn it off and I'll show you. It's just a direct sound. That's like a JTM 45-ish vibe, you know? Nice. Keep saying it's nice because it looks like a pedal, but it's a preamp. All right, uh, let's, have, what happens if we go to like the JT, or, if we go to like a JC eight hundred.
unplugged into the front of the Rev D20, uh, it's a big, beefy amp. It's sort of like a bassman, uh, so it's sort of on the heavy side. You'll hear. But I would like a little more like sparkle and cut out of that. So let's go over here. I think this is one of those cases where the alternate power amp settings is best. Uh, what's well, S uh, density, which is I think the uh, I don't know what the S stands for, but it's really where the the power amp happens. So if you were plugged in the power amp like before, it's like this. Just a little ultra present, but we're already getting presents from the amp. So I could go to one of the other settings. And it's a beautiful, like Tom Petty. Okay, this is uh, this is my Plexi, 100% Plexi. <laughs> Now let's plug in the MGAT into the channel 2. This is the Marshall, everything on 5, input 2, input 2 gain on 5 as well. Starts like this. Alter this a little bit. Oh, yeah. Sinvertech MGAT1 preamp in a pedal. Uh, if you want to order one of these, you just go directly to their website and it goes straight through them. Um, yeah, these are fun as heck. And uh, man, if you want some Marshall tones on your pedal board, there you go, man. All right, thank you, gang, for watching. We'll see you later.